Hi, welcome back. I'm going to run you through this makeup look today and what I'm going to do is kind of talk about a few of my favorite makeup shortcuts. I thought about making this into a little bit of a series where I pop in here and there and show you some things that I'm doing or some products that I'm using uh, to help my routine speed up throughout the day or that just give me like a really quick and beautiful look. Today I am partnering with Gen C. You've been seeing me use their arch support brow gel. They reached out, wanted to collaborate, and I was like, absolutely yes, because their products, I can't think of a better fit for this video, because their products are so user-friendly. And you'll see when I start using them, almost all of them are multi-purpose, like you can use them for different things. Um, so this look, I think I used five or six products for this entire look. So I'm gonna share how I got it, including this lip, this lip and cheek combo, I am dying over. I mixed two colors in, and I really can't get over it. I'm, I'm kind of impressed with the colors that I've developed here. So this is just gonna be a quick little tip style video and I'm gonna share some of my uh, Gen C favorites as well. Okay, this is something you can apply to any foundation that you have and it's something that I've been doing for years. It's a way that you can get versatility out of one foundation as long as it has a significant amount of coverage. So if you have a full coverage foundation that you find yourself only using for like special occasions, this is a way that you can utilize it for more daily wear and that I love using, especially when my skin is super dry or if I'm having a lot of redness on my face and I need the extra coverage, but also some added like hydration. What I'll do is I'll take a fuller coverage foundation. So I'm gonna use my Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Foundation as an example today. I've actually been loving this. I've been um, rediscovering it for the past couple weeks. It's kind of been tucked away. Um, and I will take about a pump, a pump and a half of it and mix it with a moisturizer. I'm going to use Dermalogica Active Moist. been using this for like a decade. It's one of the most multi-purpose um, moisturizers that I've ever used. So I'll just take a little bit of my moisturizer and then a good pump of the foundation. And now some of you might be like, okay, well, why don't you just use a tint of moisturizer? There's something about this, number one, that gives me more coverage than a tint of moisturizer. But I also love that I can customize the moisturizer. Like I can actually use whatever moisturizer fits my skin best for that day. And I also just find that this makes it way easier to blend in, obviously super quick with my fingers. And if I want a little bit of extra coverage, I'll actually just take a drop of the foundation by itself and then use that as an actual concealer. So this is just kind of like a versatile way that you can utilize a foundation that does have more pigment. And essentially, I mean, we all know, we all know that concealers are just small, like medium to full coverage foundations. I, I mean, it's literally no secret, um, but we fall for the sham anyways, you know? Yeah, this is essentially a way to utilize one product really quickly. You can customize it and you can customize this to your coverage needs. So this next thing is something you will catch me doing multiple days out of the week. Um, I like to find a product that it could be a blush or a bronzer um, that basically gives off both vibes. So a bronzer that has a little bit of a rosy undertone to it or a blush that runs a little bit more on the brown side. That way I can just completely skip one or the other. Today I'm mixing the Gen C Clean Sheen Lip and Cheek Color in Coconut and Dragon Fruit basically like a pinky bronze tone. And then I just apply it in the same way that I would my blush and my bronzer, put a little bit on my forehead. And look, I mean, is it a blush? Is it a bronzer? Is it both? We'll never know. Something about this is just always really cohesive to me. It always looks very effortless. It's a little bit of, um, you know, like you've got a little bit of sun, a little bit of redness peeking through, but also, the bronzeness to the skin. So this is something that, um, yeah, sometimes I, I have a product that just has that perfect color. Uh, I actually have another example here. This is the Jones Road uh, Bronzer in Dusty Rose. Another good example, you know, it's got that um, rosy undertone to it, but it's considered a bronzer. So something that's just multi-purpose, multi-layered in its color, it really just saves me a lot of time. And I feel like it almost gives, to me, this type of color 
gives model skin, you know, effortless vibes. And since these products are for lips and cheeks, I'm gonna do a monochromatic situation here and I'm gonna do the exact same color on my lips. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more dragon fruit to make it slightly more pink. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a, a rosewood color. I don't know about you guys, but I am so into it. Every time I do the same color on my lips and cheeks, it's just like chef's kiss moment for me. So this would literally be a full face for me. Like I would leave my office, leave my house right now just like this, but I can't because the best is yet to come. Now, you all know, I have literally been preaching this product for the past like three, four months. I have not used anything else on my brow, maybe one other product, um, but this has been in every single one of my videos, and you know I love it, and it's the Gen C Arch Support Brow Gel. This does it all. I mean, it literally fills in your brows just as good as a pencil would, a pomade, and it just looks so natural and feathery. And I have very good news because some of you um, couldn't find a shade you felt was light enough for your brows. And I got word from them that they are working on a lighter shade, a lighter version of their taupe color um, to hopefully be released soon. So keep an eye out. I'm like very excited for that because taupe is kind of like a perfect match for my hair color. But I understand if you have more fair skin or lighter um, hair, it could be a tad bit dark on you. Very exciting news. And I can't wait to try it because, you know, sometimes I like to put, I like to do a little highlight moment during the summertime. Um, but let's go ahead and pop some of this on. It is absolutely the most stunning brow product. What I like to do is target the most of the product um, on the tail end of my brow. And then as the product starts to wear off, I taper towards the front of my brow. And I mean, already it, like already it looks a thousand times better than this eyebrow. And it's just with such little effort um, that you have to do with this to get a stunning like complete eyebrow look I just love the formula it's very hard to describe it's almost like a powder um, but also a gel in one and just look at how airy it looks I mean that took no effort at all I mean what else could you ask for done like that was so easy I just can't get over how easy this is. I love this product. Like I said, I have been using it nonstop ever since I discovered it. And I, I'm just here for a quick and easy brow product. I have, you know, pretty like uneven brows, but I'm lazy and not willing to do anything about it. So when a product like this comes along, that really allows me to, um, you know, still be lazy, but get a nice like polished effect. Like, I'm going to ride with it. I'm going to ride with it for a long time. So yeah, brows done, fast, easy. It's literally one of the best products in my collection right now. So don't sleep on it. Honestly, I'm obsessed with this um, lip and cheek combo. I'm going to add a little bit of clear gloss. This one's also from Gen Z. It's just their crystal clear, clean sheen gloss. And it just makes it pop off even more. I mean, I'm a glossy lip gal. Any clear gloss to me is, mm, just make, makes me feel some kind of way, you know? So this next product from Gen Z is truly one of the most like full on multitasking products that you can find. And it's their mixed media um, matte liquid eyeshadow, but I use eyeshadow loosely because you can actually use this for contour, you can use it on your lips. They even recommend using it for like faux freckles. Um, it's a very neutral brown tone. I am going to use it on my eyes today. It's very forgiving, very easy to work with. Um, so what I'm gonna do first is just apply like a very soft layer to my eyelid. And then I'm actually gonna show you how you can use this as eyeliner as well. So just have a small amount 
um, that I'm going to wash basically all over my lid. Again, very forgiving, very easy to use here. Um, with a small amount like that, you are just going to get a light wash, which is what I am looking for. Gonna do the same thing on this eye. And I'm just gonna sweep the excess on my lower lash line. So you can see really nice, soft, feathery effect. Now I'm just going to take the majority of the product off of the paddle here and I'm going to stamp into my lash line and it creates um, pretty much the same effect as eyeliner and as long as you don't blend it away completely I'm just going to tap really lightly into my lash line to make sure it's diffused um, it will stay it'll stay like this it will stay very pigmented now keep in mind I'm not like actually stamping onto my eyelid I'm literally stamping like into my lashes into my actual lash line so you can see the difference on this one compared to this one we have a little bit more drama happening and I just love that you can do this all with one product And yeah, these are just really um, fun and versatile. And this particular color to me gives off kind of 90s grunge vibes. Okay, funny story. I was only planning on using two products from Gen C for this video. I was going to use Arch Support and um, the Clean Sheen Lip and Cheeks. But, but I had a few more and I was like, okay, these are also very multi-purpose. So why not? Um, so let's just finish, finish it off with a bang. I, I have Spectator Sport Mascara. I've had this for several months. Um, you've seen me use this in several videos it's very voluminous it's got a little bit of a semi dry formula mine needs to dry out a little bit more and i think it will be like over the top um, but it's already a very good like deep voluminous formula see how it kind of just like makes my um eyelashes look wider like to me this eye just looks wider it's not as far as like length goes, I don't find that it has a ton of length, but something about it just makes my um, lashes look fuller and like wider. Okay, I think I'm done. And I just realized I did a full face of makeup with five products. Um, my foundation, my clean sheen, my arch support, and my mixed media. Oh, and Spectator Sport, this really, you know, the mascara wasn't really part of like the multitasking part, um, but we'll go ahead and count it in. I, honestly, I was going to feature a few other products, but I was like, then I was like, do I really need to? I mean, we've got a, we've got a full face going on here. And this for me is like very beautiful, like daily appropriate. Um, but I am planning on doing a few more of these. I kind of want to make this a little mini series where I just share some hacks that I do with my makeup that either make things more simple or that accommodate my skin for the season or for any specific like problems that I'm having. Um, yeah, just kind of wanted to share some things that I do, some products that I use. Of course, this one was partnered with Gen Z um, just because they are so user-friendly, multi-purpose. I mean, honestly, it was just a, a match made in heaven for this video. Um, so if you have not checked out their products, I would highly, highly recommend. I have loved every single thing that I've tried so far. And you know, I can't get enough of the arch support. Um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing some of their products in action and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.